Hello, and welcome. Today, I am going to be going over a couple quick and kind of easy tips and tricks on how to make your own vector image. Um, some of the steps might not work out quite so well. Um, sometimes it can be super easy, sometimes it can take a little bit of time depending on how much time and effort you want to put into it. Um, today we're just going to be doing a random funny picture of Barack Obama. Um, this right here is paint.net. It is a free downloadable software from the internet. Um, and the reason I like to use this program is because this program gives you the option. It has this right here. It is a uh, magic wand. And so what this will do is it will select colors and it'll outline them and then what that'll do is if you come in here with the eraser it'll only erase what's inside of those lines we obviously don't want to erase his face and with this picture sometimes like if I was to click on the black here it links it through his hair to his suit and all kinds of stuff so another easy step and I know it can be a little intimidating is to come in really close and just kind of quick erase all the way around the image and you don't have to worry too much because since it's going to be vectorizing it you don't have to worry if you leave a little bit of color here it will turn out just fine and it'll look perfect oh that's a little too big like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect and it, now if you're doing like a family photo or something you can come in and kind of take a little bit more time if you need to this is just going to be a quick guide to how I do it with paint.net and Inkscape let's get rid of this little just going to round that off because the hard thing about pictures is the skin tone and stuff like that can kind of and uh, clothing color can kind of blend in so doing this right here gets rid of all that because the more you have into an image when you try to vectorize it the harder it's gonna be and the more detail I, I feel you're gonna lose in the image so you, as you can see I'm not being too too careful I mean it's it's not like a huge deal we're not even gonna get rid of all of that we'll see how it turns out we will get rid of this in here and then we'll kinda come back around his mouth Um, one thing you do got to look out for, if you zoom in, you can see, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little shadow right there. You want to make sure to try to get rid of those, because whenever you do go to vectorize, some of those shadows, if they're dark enough, uh, some of them will show up. And you definitely don't want, you don't want that shadow to show up because it'll it'll show up on your image and if you go to laser engrave or make a sticker or whatever you're using this for um, you will kind of get that uh, you'll get that little black spot or mark or whatever it may be um, you'll get that on your picture and you don't you don't really want that so once we come around and okay, that's there's his forehead. So you ain't gotta be too too careful. Just kinda outline it and come in a little bit closer and get rid of a little bit more of that blue. And uh, in Inkscape, 
So if you use the control and then your middle key on your mouse, it will zoom in and out. And then if you use shift, it goes back and forth and obviously just up and down. But if you look at a point, like a random point, if I want to zoom in here, if you hold control, it'll kind of focus on there or it'll focus there. So it makes it really quick and easy. And if you make a mistake like, like that, control Z quickly takes care of that. And I apologize about the quality of this. I am not a, uh, a video YouTube producer, tutorial producer by any means. This is actually my, uh, my first one. So now that I got the basic outline, uh, we'll just come in here, make this a little bit bigger, and then just kind of wipe out anything that is unneeded. Oh, shit. I took out part of his head. Oh, damn it. I took out part of his head again. Being a little careless. You can, like I said, if, if it's something, an important picture, you kind of want to take your time, and you can clean it up perfectly but once you get that so now you have this right here it's just a basic outline switch off the eraser tool so I don't actually do that up here in this top left is an effects tool so if you come in here and under artistic there's one called pencil sketch so as you can see it pencil sketches the image I like to turn my pencil tip size up and then see what the range does is the range just kind of gives it more detail um, we'll try it on a 10 we'll hit OK and then we will save this as test uh, pencil and we will save that and then what we will do is we will come over here into Inkscape pull this up and it'll be this first one you won't have to do anything with this so now you have this image here now these shadows I might have to go in and erase the shadows but if you go to trace bitmap live preview you can see that it vectorizes well what you want to play with is this threshold you can kinda turn it up a little bit and you can see how some of the detail on the ears shows up and then we can hit OK and that's I mean it's it's not perfect you lose some of the detail in here so what we can do is we can come back into here control Z and come back in here to the pencil sketch and we can try to add a little bit more you know we'll just turn it all the way up we'll try this uh, save as and then we'll just add a one so test pencil one and then what we can do is once we drag and drop this over here we can kinda compare them once they're done. I like to restart this just uh, on personal preference. And we'll take a little bit more of it away. And then you can kind of see, not any, but not much better. I mean, you just kind of got to play around with it. And you can, now this image, once again, is not the best image to use. It's just kind of a test image. But it's this is a quick and easy way on how to vectorize an image using free to download programs because myself I can't afford Adobe uh, Illustrator because I know that's one a lot of people use but this is uh, this is probably the best way to do it if you're you know on a budget um, I can actually show 
So here is one picture. Oh, that's a big picture. So this picture I went in and I this picture because of the colors of the background and wearing dark clothing and stuff like in skin tone, I had to go through and erase all of this by hand. But the final outcome after I got done and I vectorized it is this right here. And if you look at the detail in the faces, I mean, you can see the little wrinkles on the forehead. Every little tiny, I mean, you can even see his, his dimples on his cheeks. So, it, it works. It might not be as quick and easy as using Adobe or whatever other programs are out there, but this is how I vectorize my images. Um, if you stayed the whole time, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And hopefully I will get better at this and have some more videos to come.